Welcome back to SourceFed Nerd, I'm Winnie Moore, and if you're anything like me, you've been watching with excitement as new smart gadgets hit the market every day. Listen, society as we know it might be crumbling, but it's fucking cool because we can disappear into the VR anytime we want now. One of the things I love the most is that some products are designed to make our lives easier, mostly because I'm lazy and I want robots to work for me. But there are also a lot of smart products designed to help you track your health and productivity. Because of this, and because there's no good idea that will not become besmirched with trickle-down trends attempting to get a piece of the pie, there are now a ton of not super well thought out smart devices out there. So now I give you the dumbest smart gadgets we've seen so far. Is having a tiny personal computer that will tell you where you are at all times still too much effort? Do you want people to have the ability to know where you are at all times? Or perhaps you'd like to give people the option to touch you whenever they want to? Well, Spinali Designs aim to make those wishes come true with the smart pants they unveiled at CES 2017. These pants will give your left or right leg a gentle vibrate when you need to turn, almost like a smart small elf giving you a tug in the right direction. Apparently, you can also ping people wearing the pants, which could maybe be sort of hot, but mostly seems creepy and annoying. I'll take my regular dumb yoga pants any day. Listen, for the entire time I've had hair, it's been in a state of perpetual messiness. Three seconds after I'm done styling it, it becomes greasy, yet dry at the same time. When I straighten it, it becomes curly again, and when I try to rock my natural curls, they defy me and somehow go straight. I would love to someday have rich girl hair, so the idea of a hairbrush that'll tell me how to get that seems probably Promising. Another invention from CES 2017 is the L'Oreal Smart Brush that tracks the health of your hair and if you're brushing it right. I feel like it would just be a dent to my self-esteem having an app tell me my hair is bad every day. Also, you can't tell me that this isn't just a ploy from L'Oreal to be like, oh, your hair sucks, buy this L'Oreal product. Are you using enough L'Oreal conditioner? I see you. I see you, L'Oreal. So I went to Japan when I was 22 and I was absolutely delighted by the futuristic toilets they had. Heated seats, a bidet, and even a little speaker that plays a jaunty tune in case you get shy. However, that adorable gimmick is a far cry from the newest innovations in toilet tech, as there are now several on the market that come with an app to analyze your doo-doo and your pee-pee. Ideaing created a toilet designed to analyze your dookie's composition, including color, fiber content, weight, taste, blood sugar, and blood alcohol content. Okay, if you're super fascinated with making sure your body is running at optimal conditions, I get it. Wait. Taste? That's a direct quote from Ideaing's website. You know what? I don't even want to know because that's not even the most perplexing thing about this toilet that will, by the way, run you about 25 grand. There's also a live video feed you can install, gross. And of course, there's a social component where you can share your shit stats with other poo-brained adults who also shelled out 25 Gs for this atrocity. Sometimes there are smart products that take even the most basic intuitive tasks and make them infinitely more complicated. One such device that now has several options available on the market is a smart water bottle that'll give you a goddamn notification on your phone every Every time you're not hitting your water drinking goals. You know how I know I'm not drinking enough water? I feel a little thirsty. Maybe my pee is a little more yellow than usual. I don't need a fucking smart toilet to see that, and I don't need a water bottle to tell me something that my body already does just fine. I care about my oral hygiene just as much as the next person. That is to say, I run a toothbrush over my teeth twice a day and floss once or twice a month. If you're more obsessive about your teeth than I am, maybe this product is perfect for you. And while Bluetooth connected toothbrushes aren't exactly new, a company called Colibri unveiled a toothbrush this year at CES that is the first of its kind to have actual AI software. This AI is is designed to track the parts of your pearly whites that don't get scrubbed as well and learn your brushing habits over time with the aim of helping you brush more efficiently. And while I can kinda see how that's cool, I don't need my toothbrush to keep a record about how lazy I am. And I've read enough sci-fi to know to be terrified of AI going rogue, which is more than enough of a reason to let this nowhere near my mouth. At CES in 2016, Samsung introduced a smart refrigerator called the Family Hub. It's basically just a regular ass fridge with a giant tablet glued to it that'll do some cool things in theory like display the weather and help you come up with grocery lists, but let's be real. First of all, you know this software is gonna stop updating and then you'll have a $6,000 icebox that can only display error messages. If you're really keen on the idea of having a fridge display your recipes or play music or read the news, just like get a tablet mounted onto your fridge. It's so much cheaper and you can even take it with you. See, this is why SourceFed pays me the big bucks. Oh, and if you have a dumb fridge that you wanna make smarter, there's a company called Smarter that makes a camera you set up inside of your fridge so you can see what's inside it, you know. 
Or you could just look inside it. I love a good selfie as much as the next moderately attractive white girl in her 20s. I think if you're feeling how you look, there's nothing wrong with snapping a picture and posting your cute face on the internet for all to see. Go you! However, this kind of healthy self-love can no doubt be abused into downright narcissism, and the folks at Popeye are gonna turn us all into monsters with their new selfie-displaying backpack unveiled at CES 2017. Who needs this? What is the point of having a backpack with a giant display showing your selfie? Is it to remind people of what your front side looks like when you're facing away from them? I hate this backpack so much. Are you tired of analyzing all your flaws by yourself in a dumb old regular mirror? Another vanity-centered smart device to hit CES this year is the High Mirror, and although it sounds pretty friendly, its goal is pretty fucking sinister. Using face scanning technology, the mirror will tell you exactly what's wrong with your face, be it pimples, wrinkles, skin texture, or any other flaw you might have noticed before, but now seems so much worse because, hey, even a robot can tell you're ugly. Where is my Snow White mirror I can hang that will shout compliments at me and tell me encouraging advice and also dispenses cookies on demand? That would be a product worth paying for, right? So here's a thing you may or may not know about me. I don't have kids. Not only have I never experienced the miracle of childbirth, I'm not even completely sold that I want to in the first place. So. I understand that I'm not the intended audience here, but I don't think it's completely off base to say that you shouldn't need any sort of tech for basic mothering skills. However, Huggies wants to ingratiate your newborn to tech dependency by creating a sensor that attaches to a diaper and gives your phone a ding whenever it needs to be changed. Now again, I'm not a mother, but everyone who has ever been around a baby knows that babies have a fantastic piece of technology that already deals with this concern, and it's called a loud shrieking sound you're genetically predisposed to not be able to ignore. If you're like me and you're making your annual go at living a healthier lifestyle before inevitably realizing that our efforts to be physically hot are meaningless and so is everything else, so fuck it, sure pass the pizza, you might be inclined to try a smart gadget that claims to help you establish healthier habits. The Hat Before It wants to do just that, and like many other devices on this list, it's gonna do it by shaming you into better habits. This giant neon fork aims to help you eat more slowly, which can help aid in weight loss, by zapping your mouth with a vibration every time you stuff food into your gaping maw a little too quickly. I I don't know, man. Even just the idea of metal vibrating against my teeth is enough to make me want to put down that fork completely. But hey, I guess that's kind of the goal, maybe? I want to be totally clear here. I think sex toys are fine, and there are already some that incorporate tech that are actually pretty cool. There is a brand new device called Lovely that just hit the market that isn't so much a sex toy, but a cock ring pretty much designed to tell you if you're good or bad at sex. Lovely will obviously connect to an app and tell you things like the number of calories you burned, number of thrusts, and even your top speed, because we all know that sex is only good if you're going very, very, very fast. That's how that works. The fine folks over at SourceFed covered this device a few days ago, so you can have a look-see if you want to know more. Well, there you have it. A bunch of products thinly veiled as being designed to help us, when we all know that the truth is nothing more than another way to make us feel better about ourselves, or to make money by strapping Bluetooth to it and calling it a day. Writing this list made me want to detach myself from any and all tech for a few days, maybe like, move to the forest and build birdhouses or something. Oh, but it would be really cool if there was a way to like, measure when the birds came and how much they ate. God damn it, that's tech again. Which of these smart devices seem the dumbest to you, and would you be curious enough to actually buy any of them? Let me know down in the comments, and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to SourceFed Nerd for more brutal tech annihilation. I'm Whitney Moore, and I'll see you next time. Ah! <laughs> Nerdiness has run in the blood of metal since the very beginning. D&D, fantasy, and sci-fi stories like Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, the smash hit RPG Final Fantasy is back and bigger than ever. So I figured I'd dive right in and see what all the fuss is about.